In today's video, I'm exploring the innovative world of RenderNet's Tainted, an experimental feature that's already producing incredible results. Whether dealing with a real photograph or an AI-generated image, Tainted allows you to effortlessly modify elements with just a few text commands. From altering the color of a dress from white to black to transforming a background car into a yellow taxi, the potential is limitless. I'll guide you through how to set up RenderNet and execute these remarkable transformations in mere seconds. Prepare to unlock your creativity and dive into the endless possibilities of this tool. Let's go! Access RenderNet and on the homepage you will see various examples of how to use Tainted. Select one of them to start and then upload your image. It can be any real or AI generated by any engine. Choose what you want to change and the element that will replace it. In this case, we are going to change the dress color from white to black. Click on change it and in a few seconds, the change will have been made. But you can keep iterating over your own creations. Zoom in on the image and click on change it again. This time we'll change the car in the background it will go from being black to a yellow taxi. Click on change it again, and after a few seconds, there we have it. All right, that's a wrap on checking out RenderNet's Change It. Pretty cool stuff, right? If you played around with it as we went along or just pumped about giving it a try, smash that like button and drop a comment. I'd love to hear what you think or what else you're curious about. And hey, if you haven't hit subscribe yet, consider doing it. There's a plenty more where this came from, like figuring out how to clone yourself digitally and a bunch of other fun projects. For those of you ready to jump into RenderNet, there is a link in the description. Give it a go and see what crazy stuff you can come up with. So thanks for hanging out with me today and keep exploring and playing around with what you can create. See you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.